Hello and welcome to Dallas Park and Recreation Journey to Wellness. I'm Jeff, your fitness specialist. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about mobility. Okay, not stretching per se, but mobility. Our, we're, so we're mostly gonna be working our joints, our muscles a little bit, but it's the act of making movements to make sure our range of motion stays good. So when you're exercising and you wanna stay healthy with your exercise, it's really important to keep your range of motion in your joints, okay? So we're gonna to start today all the way down with our ankles. I got a chair here. We're not gonna sit down, but just in case you're feeling a little bit uh, worried about your balance, you can always hold on to the chair, no worries. So I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this. We're gonna stand up tall. We're gonna gauge our core a little bit. I'm gonna drag one foot back behind us and put our toes down. And then we're gonna make some circles with that ankle. So what I want you to think about here is that the ankle gets to totally relax, that you're using your hip and your knee to make the circles, not the ankle joint itself. All right, go ahead and switch directions. Good, and this really just takes about 20 seconds, 30 seconds in each direction. All right, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Now, why do we do them like this, you might ask? It is so that ankle joint itself can totally relax and we can make the movement with our hips and with our knee and not with ankle joint itself. So for example, if you were gonna do ankle circles like this, you'd actually be working the ankle joint itself. All right, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to match our feet together and our knees together, and we're gonna make little circles right here. I sometimes call this one the, the popcorn <laughs> mobility exercise because my knees start to make some noise. Um, that doesn't, noise doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing unless it hurts, okay? So as always, you wanna to listen to your body, and if anything starts to hurt, then you wanna back off or make an adjustment, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, put our hands on our hips, just find that pelvic bowl right there, and we're gonna make nice little circles here, just around that pelvic bowl. And if you're doing this one right, you just might feel like you're getting a little back massage, okay? Just a few in this direction, a few in the other direction. All right, as we're doing this, go ahead and make sure you're taking nice, deep, strong breaths. All right, let's make that one a little bigger, like almost like we got a hula hoop going. Nice, big, strong breaths. So as we loosen up the joints, there's um, this liquid our, our body produces called synovial fluid. It's the lubrication for our joints. It's like if we're the tin man and we needed our joints uh, lubricated with that little squirt of oil, but it's called synovial fluid. And that's what we're kind of producing here. So as we breathe and loosen up our joints and our muscles, we prepare our body for our day or for our workout, okay? Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna make some letters with our arms, okay? We're gonna start with our hands right in front of us. And we're gonna inhale up. Now be careful with your shoulders. I know all of our shoulders don't feel super healthy. Just go to where you can with your range of motion and bring it back down. Inhale it up. And exhale, bring it back down. Excellent, just do one more of those. Inhale it up, again, follow the range of motion. Try to keep your core tight and not arch your back, all right? The next one we're gonna do is a Y, and then we're gonna bring the Y into a double. I'll show, what you, show you what I mean. We're gonna inhale that up at an angle this time, make a capital Y. We're gonna drive our elbows down to our ribs, and we'll bring it back up, and then back to center. So we're starting the same place each time. Inhale, bring that up, make your capital Y. Exhale, squeeze your elbows down. Now you get your W, right? And then inhale back up to your Y. And that should feel really good on your shoulders, but also on your upper back a little bit, especially when we bring it back into that W. We're really squeezing those shoulder blades together a little bit, right? And creating some space, helping us with our posture there as well. And the last letter we'll make is the letter T. So we're gonna inhale our arms up to the side. Again, I don't want you to feel like you have to bring them up too high because I know everybody's shoulders are, have different strength and mobility, but we're gonna try to keep as much mobility in those joints as possible. Excellent, that's our letter T. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a side bend, okay? So we're gonna bring those arms up and I'm gonna encourage you to grab your hand all around your opposite wrist and then inhale as tall as you can and pull yourself gently into a side bend. Pretend you're stuck between two panes of glass. Inhale back to center. Same way again, exhale. I say stay between two panes of glass because we don't want to twist our body. We just want to do a quick side bend. All right, one more on this side. That should feel nice, like you're really lengthening out through your rib cage and your side body's getting taller. Let's relax those shoulders down, bring them back up. 
All right, well, nice. And we're gonna exhale as we lengthen and stretch. And then inhale back to center. Exhale as we lengthen and stretch. And then inhale back to center. One more time on this side. We're all, as well as trying to stay mobile, we're trying to stay nice and symmetrical, right? So we wanna work both sides of the body the equal amount of time. The last thing we're gonna do is a twist. Now, if the doctor's told you not to twist, maybe he has uh, a lumbar spine issue or it causes you some pain, then don't worry about twisting today. But if it feels okay, I want you to bring your hands up to the side, almost like, you know, kind of elbows tucked into your ribs. And I want you to start this rotation at your torso and twist and look over your left shoulder. And then bring it back to center. One more time, exhale and twist over your left shoulder and then back to center. You'll see that it starts from your torso, but you also move your shoulders as well. Let's do the other side. Exhale and twist to your right. Back to center. Nicely done. Last one here. And back to center. All right, I hope you feel energy, energized. I hope you feel like there's some nice oxygen flowing through your body that you feel a little looser, a little bit more activated. And if you're about to go on with your day or you're about to start a workout, you're just energized and ready to go. Thank you for joining me on your wellness journey. As always, Dallas Park and Recreation brings communities together.